Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, October 11th to the 13th of 2019. Sun, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Cancer, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Page of Swords, Cancer. Air energy. This can be a communication or a younger person. That would be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This could be someone that blurted out the truth. This could be a message that alerts you to the truth. There's vigilance and news and investigation. Nervousness and anxiety. Could be news of difficulties. This is someone behaving in a risky manner. Could be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth that causes strife. This is not a person that's malicious on purpose, but if anyone gets in their way, they will simply trample them underfoot. They're extremely strong-willed, and they can be cold and calculating. This can be a spy or a deceitful person, and they're not to be trusted, or they don't trust someone else. This is someone spreading gossip and rumors, or it could be new ways of communication, sharing ideas. They're thoughtful and curious and intellectual. They can be a writer or a student. They're youthful, cautious, and thoughtful. They seek truth and justice above all else, and they take risks in order to get closer to the truth. They may be manipulating communication. This is a message that may provide a lesson. Could be someone being less than honest. They're determined, and they're full of defiance. This page asks questions. They look for proof, and they conduct research. This could be new plans for the future or a message about them. You'll need to follow through and ask questions and explore a fresh way of thinking. Could be some, someone keeping an eye on you. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Page of Wands, Cancer. More communication. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is a helpful information. Could also be the beginning of something, a project, a love affair, a new phase in someone's life. It can be a firm decision about a question. This can be a declaration, an announcement, an invitation, a proclamation, a message of importance to your current project or situation. It usually affects work, although it can be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we feel the page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is the fool's little brother. It's being intrigued and hopeful and inspired, trustworthy, a beginner, embarking on self-development, and sensing your potential for creative or spiritual expansion or pursuing adventure. Two pages in a reading represent disquiet or a lack of structure. It could be that person that blurted out a truth. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Well, here you are, Cancer, the Queen of Cups. This can be a male or a female. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is someone that's empathetic, they're emotional, they're loving, and they're a dreamer, and they lead with their heart over their head. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana cards. Ultimately, her power and accomplishments are rooted in love. This is a romantic woman, and she has a great deal of intuition. They're a good wife, a mother. This is someone that's beautiful and fair and dreamy and she contemplates a cup. One of her aspects is she can see visions in a cup, but she also acts, and her activity feeds her dream. She's creative with a strong will, and that enables her to develop her talents. And she draws inspiration from her own life and from the world around her, and she's capable of deep romantic love. 
This is someone that has a quiet nature. They could be shy. This is using a gentle hand and staying in touch with emotional aspects. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Four of Cups, Cancer. More water energy. This is an offer. It's being held by a hand from the divine, but you do not see it. You're looking at something else. You're feeling discontented. There's some disquiet here. This is discontent. Or you may be waiting for the right opportunity, but you're feeling flat and uninspired. You're going within. It's being self-absorbed. You're not interested in a something. This is a voluntary withdrawal, like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. You might find yourself tired of a situation and you lack emotional resources to proceed. But the answers and the inspiration you need to go on are there for you. Do not sink into apathy. It blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. And remember to pay close attention to your dreams, especially the ones you remember really well. They are messages. And watch for signs and synchronicities, and do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. This could be boredom and depression in a romance. There may be others who see the relationship for what it is, and they talk about it, whether it's with you or they gossip about it among themselves. This is feeling, feeling left out and not enjoying company. You're waiting for something, turning things over in your mind, ruminating, overanalyzing. Your detachment from the world could become an issue. You might be closed off from a solution. You're caught between the world of thought and action. You feel discontent, so you cannot see that magical offer. You'll need to look at your life in a fresh new way and rethink your situation and, do not, and, do, and draw clear conclusions, but do not rush yourself. Your fifth card... It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number zero of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Fool. This card is ruled by Uranus, so it's linked to the sign of Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is a new path. It's an entrance. A new beginning. It's a choice being offered. Could even be traveling. This is a new beginning, it's trusting life, it's a blind leap of faith. It's absolute faith in the universe and taking a risk. The fool gives us courage to continue and prods us to seek new experiences, and you should be following your own instinct rather than the advice of others. And if you follow your instincts, you'll be provided with guidance. This is being on the edge of a very important new beginning and trusting where the universe is taking you. It's embarking on a new way of life a physical journey, or moving, or starting a new job, or getting married or divorced. It's that first step, despite some fear. This is a sign, a green light, to step into that unknown. You're feeling no fear, and you feel everything will turn out well, as long as you react with a pure heart. The small white dog represents loyalty and protection, and this is being more focused on starting the new than considering the challenges. This is a need to listen to your authentic self, it's trying to get your attention. This is a wild card and a chance to find out what your free will could create. Because free will can move mountains and there's unlimited potential here. This is simplifying or it's acting on a whim. It's enjoying the moment and taking life as it comes. The page of swords with the fool card. This can be hurtful words from out of nowhere. It was unexpected and you cannot find a reason for it. This person may not trust others, and they may have said something immature, or they could be jealous. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Cancer, you've got denial. Card number 22 from your Divine Helper Guides. Denial. Has to do with confusion and distortion, ignorance and compromise. Your divine helpers are here to help you take off your blinders and more honestly assess the difficulties in your intimate relationships. Although you'd prefer to believe that ignorance is bliss, the truth is that denial is not a river in Egypt, 
nor is it a genuine form of protection against unhappiness. Your guides gently ask you to summon the courage to honestly admit the real problems that exist in your relationships. As difficult as they may be, until you do so, there's no chance that these shadows will ever heal. So, for example, admit when your wife isn't just tipsy, but rather is drunk, and she can be on many light nights. Or admit, or admit, at least to yourself, that when your son says they can't find a job, it's because they aren't looking that hard. Or that when your partner says that they must work late every single night for months, that an affair or other digression is likely. Most important, admit that you might be hiding from your loved ones. Acknowledge your fears, addictions, excuses, and failures honestly and with compassion. Realize what your mind blots out, your heart knows, and so does everyone else. In other words, when you're in denial, you're only kidding yourself. What your mind blots out, your heart knows. Your divine helpers want you to acknowledge those unpleasant realities because until you do, you'll be stuck with them. Not every unpleasant, re unpleasant reality needs to be challenged or changed, however. Sometimes it's best to compromise or let things be. If your partner is generally sloppy, for example, but is otherwise a gem, let it go. However, if your partner is in serious trouble or vice versa, you're only harming yourself and others by perpetuating the problem, by denying it. Your Divine Helper's message? Take off the blinders and be open to the truth about others and yourself. Only then can you learn and grow past problems. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.